So let's start with the basic, basic, simple thing. So if you're a beginner, you can catch on the later lessons. So we'll create a basic one, really basic. In our WordPress installation folder, go to VP Content, to Teams, and this is actually our theme that we are going to develop later on, which is a bit more advanced and has some HTML to WordPress conversion. But for now, let's create a simple theme. Um, let's create the folder and let's even call it like that. So, what does our theme require? First, it requires two things an index.php file and also a style CSS. So, let's create just that. I'll open this folder in my Sublime. Let me just scale that for you. Or I just go like this. I'll go to Sublime and on the file I'll go to open and then I'll go to sites to our site since I'm using the local bar file flywheel I'm using this this VP content this and simple theme and open on that. So that's it. That's our folder pretty empty nothing's in it and also if you go and check check our uh, admin part you won't see it listed anywhere so let's just create a new file let's use and save that and let's save that file and as style css and use the comment so if you don't know what you should be doing here Let's go to the ones I've mentioned before. So you go to Team Handbook and you go to Team Basics under Main Style Sheet. And here is everything we can enter here. But for now, let's just use the team name and call it Simple Team and use the description, which is Team develop or the course become a WordPress developer, and that's it. We can save that, and here it is. So, what if we go now to the admin part? Let's go like that. So, to our admin part of this. We can go here and here, and in the appearance part, we don't have anything. And what what it said does it say broken teams? So a template is missing. So we need an index PHP. Okay, let's create an index PHP also. Save it. So it's index PHP. Save that. And now if we refresh it, we don't have any broken teams anymore and we have a simple team. So let's activate it and let's see what is happening here. Nothing. We have a blank page and that's not the white screen of that that's called in WordPress or any PHP application or any web application at all. That's just the blank table because we don't have anything in our index PHP defined and that we'll do in the next video.